Ramadan Picks. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, welcome to a brand new episode of Ramadan Picks. And for this particular episode, I'm going to be talking about the tongue. The tongue is one of the greatest blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Small in size indeed, but does great deeds. And on the other hand, it does damage too at the same time. Through one's tongue, true faith sprouts and unfolds. Likewise, infidelity emerges as well. Its extent is endless like a vast arena. It is the interpreter of hearts and thoughts. It is a machine that articulates speech and statements. The good it made is carved on the tablets of time and the evil it has caused echoes through the annals of history. Whoever employs it wisely and for the sake of useful utterances, restraining it with religious bonds and placing it where it belongs is truly worthy of salvation. But on the other hand, whoever liberates it, not monitoring what it utters, the devil will be his guide, misleading him towards different paths. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save us all. Let's swiftly talk about a few sins of one's tongue. Number one, lying. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is reported to have said along the lines of these words and this particular narration, the tradition has been recorded in the book of Imam Muslim rahimahullah. Never lie, for lying leads to lewdness and lewdness leads to the fire of hell. A man continues to lie and seek falsehood until he will be labeled by Allah as a liar. Allahu Akbar. In another narration that has been recorded by Imam al-Bukhari rahimahullah, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned what he saw from the torments of the people of hellfire. And he went on to say along the lines of these words, as for the one whose cheek you saw being torn away, he was a liar and he used to tell lies and the people would report those lies on his authority till they spread all over the world. So he will be punished like that, i.e. his cheeks will be torn till the day of Qiyamah, till the day of resurrection. Also from the sins of the tongue that we have to be wary, that we have to be careful about is slander and backbiting about others. And the ones who do so are reprimanded very severely in the Quran where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala states, وَلَا يَغْتَبْ بَعْضُكُمْ بَعْضًا أَيُحِبُّ أَحَدُكُمْ أَنْ يَأْكُلَ لَحْمَ أَخِيهِ مَيْتًا فَكَرِهْتُمُوهُ And do not spy or backbite each other. Would any one of you like to eat the flesh of his dead brother? You would detest it. You would hate it. Now, there are many other sins that the tongue can commit such as perjury, insulting, cursing, swearing, in the sense using swear words, defamation. And this list keeps going on and on. But having mentioned all of the above, we must bear in mind that we are in this beautiful, powerful and amazing month of Ramadan. And it is of paramount importance that we understand that fasting does not only consist of refraining from food and drink, Rather, we must also protect ourselves from swearing, from using bad language, from backbiting, lying, and venting out in terms of venting our anger. So inshallah ta'ala, I'm going to be sharing a few action items that we can act upon during Ramadan and out of Ramadan to help us keep our tongues at check. Action item number one, think before you speak. I know it sounds so simple, yet we have become so accustomed to speaking without thinking that words just seem to fall out of our mouths before we even know it. We need to be extremely careful, extremely careful, as words, once articulated, can only be forgiven easily and not forgotten in the same way. So just to keep our minds occupied before words start slithering from our mouths, I want you all to think of the word think like this before you speak. The letter T, is it true? What you're about to speak, is it true? H, is it helpful? The words that you are about to articulate, are they helpful? I, is it inspiring? N, is it necessary? K, is it kind? Just to keep our minds occupied. Okay, moving on. The next action item in line is to apologize. As human beings, however much we try, we are obviously prone to making mistakes. That's part of our nature. Hard as it may be, if we do happen to say something that is hurtful to someone, just simply apologize, just say sorry. Whether it was what you said or how you said it, remind yourself to apologize 
for your misbehavior, if you feel like you stepped out of line, regardless of whether or not the other person shows that they feel hurt, that they feel sad or upset, this can have nothing, nothing at all but positive effects insha'Allah ta'ala. Many of us though have trouble apologizing to people and accepting our mistakes. So it will both humble us and also ensure that we are more careful next time. Because it can be pretty uncomfortable to, ac to accept your mistake and not only that, verbalize it. Secondly, it can help better your relationship with the other person. Because you are showing them that you are aware of their feelings and that you really and sincerely care about them. And always remember, saying sorry doesn't have to mean that you are wrong. It means that you value the relationship, that you value the friendship more than your own pride, more than your own ego. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save us all from pride. The final action item, my dear brothers and sisters in Islam, is to keep reminding ourselves as believers in regard to how ugly the sins of the tongue are, and also to remind ourselves of the punishments and reprimanding the ones who lie, backbite and gossip have to go through in this world as well as the next world. Most of the time we do not realize, we actually do not realize how many negative things we say in a given day. But this blessed month, the month of Ramadan, is an amazing opportunity to improve our character, to refine our manners. And this can extend onto the months after Ramadan and from there onwards onto the rest of our lives, inshaAllah ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive all of our sins. May Allah and His angels love all of us. Ameen, I request, I kindly request you all to share this video around as much as possible to inspire others and to also share in on the reward. I look forward to talking to you all in the next video. So until then, take care. Jazakumullah khair. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.